What's up guys, Technology Brett with you again and uh, today I've got the review of the Cyber Acoustics eye cover guys. That's right, this is uh, the Leather Folio um, iPad case, carry all, whatever you want to call it, folio, whatever. Um, it's it's really nice. I, I have a hard time even you know holding back how much I like this product guys for $39.99 at cyberacoustics.com slash eye cover guys um, it is already back ordered they have already seen a pretty big demand for this case guys so it is back ordered i think right now the delivery date is august 17th um, but it is worth the wait for 39.99 guys this is ridiculous value um, this is genuine leather guys it feels great in the hand you can see also the stitching i will try to zoom in uh, the stitching is really nice. I haven't had really any issues with uh, any of the stitching um, coming out or, or, or anything like that. Um, one of the things to note is uh, I found myself laying this on the table a lot, you know, closed, um, just as, you know, storage, you know, just sitting on the coffee table or whatever. Um, one thing to note is you can see kind of there, probably more from this angle, um, that this side is much down here is much more flat and then this side is much more rounded and that is because of the back of the iPad guys you do know it is round um, so whenever you do set it down guys just set it down flat with the round side up and uh, it looks nice sitting on the coffee table kinda looks like a book it looks like an organizer it looks you know it's uh, it, it, it's really a talking piece people come over and say hey man what is, is that your iPad and, uh, and you're like yeah man check it out and uh, they you know they pick it up play with it they really like this cover um, and it does have the straps here to keep it shut. So if you do knock it off the table or whatever, it's uh, probably going to stay in here pretty well. Um, and that's one thing somebody asked is how well it does this, um, you know, snap in or hold. How well does it hold the iPad in there? And, and I got to say, it holds it much better than you would think that it would. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these straps off here. And they just pull right off. Doing it off camera. They just pull off. And uh, then you can, you know, basically just open it right up. And you can see they've even included a way for this to crease since you're going to be using it as a stand or, or whatever here and here and here. So along these seams that are going to bend, they've built that right into where it's not going to damage your leather. It's not going to damage anything. Um, and it just opens up, you know, like a book. And, yeah, I know my, my iPad's not clean right now. I was just using it a little bit ago. Um, so sorry about that, but you can see guys it is or maybe you can't Let's try to I uh, Had the camera zoomed in a little bit more for the iPhone stuff. I was doing a minute ago So sorry about that. Let me go ahead and put it this way and you guys can see it a little bit better in terms of um, How it holds in here and we're going to go ahead and take it out real quick and you can see it just takes it just takes a second to put it in and pull it out and and um, you can see actually something I didn't really expect and I don't know if that's going to come through on the camera guys I do have the Zag Invisible Shield on the back of here but you can actually see imprints of where the stitching was lined up against the back so I am not sure if that's going to scratch the iPad or not but I can see where it was sitting against the Zag for sure um, but I don't anticipate that scratching up your iPad, especially the brushed aluminum. I think it's not going to be a big deal at all. Um, this is the first time I noticed that. But this is sewn right into the, the eye cover. And these, man, they, it's made out of a plastic or a silicone or, or whatever it is, rubber. I don't know. It's a clear. And it holds your iPad holds it in there really securely you just pull those flaps up over and your iPad's not going anywhere uh, it just it's just it's just right in there I turned it over a minute a few minutes ago and was trying to you know shake it out doing it well now I'm gonna knock the camera over uh, trying to shake it out or whatever and it was very secure in there and you can see this is a good way to hold it and you know if I wanna I can use the comfort grip here to kind of help you know what that that cover flipped back um, if I'm just using it, uh, usually in portrait mode, or, uh, I'll, you know, I'll usually kind of hold it like this and especially if I'm doing any reading or anything like that, um, you know, if I got my reader app open, you know, I'll just sort of hold it like this and, uh, you know, do my reading that way. 
Um, if I'm gonna watch you know, videos or, or whatever, like let's go ahead and let's go to YouTube here real quick. Go to my subscriptions. I will flip this back and you can see guys, it just folds right up into there and I have a great stand right here. Perfect, perfect stand. I don't even know what that is playing. But I set that up on a coffee table on, on my end table or you know on my nightstand and it it's perfect it, it's just you know you set up whatever you're watching and you know you let you let your iPad do the rest and the stand holds the case up perfectly um, it's a great viewing angle I know a lot of cases are designed for this viewing angle but you know this works great um, same thing if you want to type guys I did a, I you know I typed a pretty big long email on this uh, which you could kind of sell there. It went by really quick, but you can type uh, type really well with it, you know, sitting here like this. So I like. It's not something I've done a whole lot of typing on the iPad, but uh, when you fold it at this angle, it makes typing not so dreadful or painful. Um, and, and again, if you're gonna watch videos, TV shows, whatever, that other viewing angle, it's really nice. Um, but overall, what I like most about it, guys, is it, it adds a touch of class. You know, it's already cool enough that you've got an iPad. Um, and it, it's just like another level of sophistication that if you're carrying it around, people are going to take notice and be like, man, that, you know, not only does he have an iPad, but he's doing it classy. You know, it looks nice, doing it professional, clean. You know, I think that this is a great value for $39.99. Um, I'd be willing to pay it. Um, you know, they did send this out to me for free for review. So just you know, to clarify that, um, but I would absolutely pay thirty nine ninety nine for this, guys, and be extremely satisfied with it. Again, the leather's really great quality. Uh, the stitching is great. It's very well designed in terms of where it bends to you know make the stand. Um, without you know leaving creases in the leather, I know you guys. Uh, if you got a leather wallet or whatever, yeah, where leather bends, it it's not real pretty. So they did a good job of designing that in there, and then uh, just to hold it shut when it's closed, these work really well. Uh, you don't have to use them, but you know I like to use them just to keep it. You know, make sure that it stays shut and secure, and uh, sitting on the coffee table, and table whatever, you know it looks great, and you do have complete access to. You know, you can charge it while it's in the case, no problem. You know, you've got all your controls. You can still change the volume. It's actually, we should probably get into that a little bit. And uh, so you can see up here, you know, your sleep awake button. Fine, works great. No issues, 3.5 millimeter headset jack is accessible. Uh, noise cancellation microphone is open. Of course, there's nothing on this side, the bottom. You know, all your speakers, microphone, whatever. You know, they're all open, 30 pin connectors open. You can get to your you know, uh, rotation lock and your volume rocker, all really easy. Um, none of them are, you know, you're not gonna get, you know, I don't worry about that as much with the iPad, the total protection. Um, I do have the total protection zag on here, guys. I've got it all the way around, um, front and back. So this does work with a thick screen protector and full body protector like the zag, because this is on right now and works great. You know, I think the combination is a winner. Um, this is the first case that I've had for the iPad um, that I've you know been willing to keep on here, not switch back to that Macaulay clear case, um, which that's you know that's my most watched video on YouTube is about that uh, this Macaulay clear case here, and um, you know this this is the first case I've had since then that I've actually liked maybe even more or at least as much, and I have used this as well the Spec Candy Shell for the iPad, which we'll do a review on this too. Uh, it's got its good points and bad points. Uh, but anyway guys, that is the Cyber Acoustics iCover for the iPad, $39.99, cyberacoustics.com slash iCover. I highly recommend it. This is a very good product and a great value, guys. So check them out, get yours now. I believe they'll be shipping August 17th, I think, according to the website. So. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, guys. Twitter.com slash technology, Brad. Don't forget to follow me, and uh, you guys have a great night.